was really tempted to steal. I knew it would be way down the list. Yeah, I, I don't think that would be up where there. Do you, where do you hide it? Where do you put it? You can't put it in your pocket. Like, what do you do? Put it on, yeah, you can't take it on top of your car. He tied it to their boat and rode it away, I guess. Yeah. Mm. See, that's what you get, though, for being nice and taking it back. Ooh, they're saying my laugh does not sound like a horse. It sounds like a car that won't start. Let's do this again. I'd rather have that than be a horse. <laughs> I think it is a car that won't start. I don't think I'm a horse. <laughs> stop it. Just stop it. I like this ticket text at 97136. My buddy and me found a briefcase left by a woman in Rhode Island. We traveled to Colorado to give it back to her, and lo and behold, it was full of money. We did spend some on a nice hotel and a Lamborghini, but we left IOUs to account for everything. The hell? <laughs> of course, uh, quoting Dumb and Dumber. Oh, <laughs> right, right, right. I had forgotten about that episode. Uh, that's better than money, sir. Uh -huh. Those are IOUs. See that one right there? 275000 that's a car. You might want to hold on to that one. Wait, now here's a real oh, story movie. again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is making me tear up. I found $3,000 in the parking lot at Myers. Went inside, and a lady with three kids was on the bench crying. She had lost all her money and couldn't feed her family. I believe in karma and always doing the right thing when you can. Or that was somebody else's ticket text. That was somebody else's ticket text. So, yeah. so when you saw the mother crying, but you had the three thousand dollars, said, "What's did wrong, you, lady? Did, did you give it back?" <laughs> Didn't say that. Where's the rest of that text? <laughs> she she, she so, walked past and said, "Hey, I know why you're crying." <laughs> Go over there, uh, ma'am. Can I can I buy you some groceries today, or get you a coffee, or something? Like that? Can I buy you lunch? Yeah. Hey, you know what, ma'am? It'll show up. <laughs> Have a great night. Bye. See ya. Keep looking. See ya. Keep looking, yeah. What are the mm -hmm. names of your little crying kids right there? <laughs> Hi, Susie. Hi, Johnny. Hi, Mitchell. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Let's go to Al in New Baltimore. You're on 971. Hey, Al. Hey, um, to all these fools that think the FDIC insures money shipments, they do not. They insure depositors in case the bank fails. Yep. Up to $250,000. So the banks have private insurance, so that it's not federally insured if cash gets uh, shipped everywhere. So these people that think it's federally insured are nuts. Well, no, wait a minute. Doesn't the armored car company have their own insurance? Well, typically the car, armored car will have insurance, the bank will have insurance, but when they are saying it's federally insured, the FDIC insures depositors up to 250 right thousand dollars if the bank fails they do not insure cash shipment so it's not federally insured no but the weasels Those just want the fools. insurance right they just want it to be insured in some way right of course speaking for the weasels is that true well, look i mean I, I think i need it more than a bank does you know no is that not true um i do think um i'm Butley the cartoon doll i do think that's what it is the laugh <laughs> Is it Mudley or Snidely? Mudley. Yeah. I think that's true. Smedley? Smudley? Well, whatever. Mm. Uh, ticket text. It's Meyer, not Myers. <laughs> Wait, really? Mm. Interesting. 248-539-9797. All right, we can get to some more of this. We got Al Avila coming up. Yes, and uh, let me read this ticket text real quick. Okay. People wondering, you know, why are we getting more drawn? Well, uh, in, uh, sort of, sort of, sort of, uh, uh, ticket text, 97136. Hey, I turned on 97.1 and the mean kid is gone and it's Birdie, Birdie and Bogey. Whoa, they're fixing the world and I love it. We are fixing the we world. We are doing a lot of good, yeah. No, that's true. Yeah, like if there's cash just, you know, floating around in the middle of a highway, take it. Okay, but if there's an envelope of cash at a restaurant, take half and give half back to the person that lost it. Right? Oh, oh, sure. no, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I don't think I got that you right. You need to get your weasel committee together and figure out how to handle this. <laughs> 97.1. You want to get away, relax? I mean, it's, what, only rained 28 of the last 35 days? How about Vegas? How about the D, Las Vegas? They've got everything on the D, completely renovated. You can enjoy all the comforts of a Vegas hotel while saving a bunch of money on the room. 
And now the D offering something even, well, real exciting for many of you. Circa Sports is now open at Golden Gate Hotel and Casino right down the street from the D. And now Circa Sports mobile app, you can download and you can get entered into the Circa Sports Million Pro Football Contest. It provides a $1.5 million guarantee, no rake, 100% payback, and a $50,000 quarterly payout. It's sports betting the way it used to be. The D Sportsbook opens June 19th. Learn more right now by going to circasports.com. That's circasports.com. It's the D Las Vegas, the long bar of the sportsbook. Check it out. D.com, D Las Vegas. It's your home for sports in Vegas. Looking to sell your house? Call Jeff Glover, the official realtor of the Detroit Tigers. Call 855 Jeff Sells or visit HouseSoulMain.com. This is Jim Rome, and the CBS Sports Minute is sponsored by Kronos, providing HR solutions for the modern workplace. Let me answer with a question. What is the one tangible thing that you want most from your life? Think about that for a minute. And then think about the price you're willing to pay. What kind of a sacrifice would you make to achieve that goal? Well, Tennessee Titans head coach Mike Grable was posed that question, except in a different way. He was asked, what would he be willing to do to win another Super Bowl ring? Would he be willing to, well, lose his manhood? And it took Grable exactly one second to say yes. Yes, I would be willing to do that. Would you cut your uh, been married 20 years. The best part of that story is not that Grable said that he would do it. It's that every other coach is going to be asked if they would be willing to do so as well. Who's going to be the first one to ask Grable's former head coach, Bill Hoodie, Bill Belichick, if he'll do it? I'm Jim Rome. This human resources professional is crushing it, thanks to Kronos. And this is his hype song. Got HR, payroll, talent, and time. Engaging all the best people. Kronos, HR solutions for the modern workforce. Learn more at Kronos.com slash HR Swagger. Is the car you're driving 2012 and newer? If so, here's something you need to know. Today's newer engines run hotter, making them more vulnerable to carbon buildup, which could affect engine performance. Protect your engine with new Valvoline Modern Engine Full Synthetic, specially formulated to protect cars built 2012 or newer from carbon buildup. Learn more at modernoil.com. Valvoline, since 1866. Visit AutoZone now. Find my parts of Valvoline Modern Engine Full Synthetic and an oil pump up to $35.99. See store for restrictions and details. As most of us have found out the hard way, getting into debt is easy. Getting out is hard, especially if your FICO score isn't great. Thankfully, now there's Upstart.com, the revolutionary lending platform that knows you're more than just your credit score and offers you smarter interest rates to help you pay off high-interest credit card debt. Upstart goes beyond the traditional FICO score when assessing your credit worthiness. They reward you based on your education and job history with a smarter interest rate. Upstart makes it fast. It's an easy to check your rate in just a few minutes without affecting your credit score. Once the loan is approved, most people get their funds the very next business day. Over 200,000 people have used Upstart to pay off credit cards, student loans, fund their wedding, or to make a large purchase. Free yourself from the burden of high interest credit card debt and hurry to Upstart.com slash Gator to find out how low your Upstart rate is. Checking your rate only takes a few minutes at Upstart.com slash Gator. Warning, this product contains nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive chemical. The world is changing. Isn't it time smoking changed too? Meet Views Alto, a vapor product offering you a satisfying alternative to cigarettes. With long-lasting pods filled with liquid blended in the U.S., Views Alto delivers our highest performing vapor yet. Simple to use, surprisingly quiet, and impressively powerful. Views leading the way today, tomorrow, and the future. Underage sale prohibited. The station with the most important guest is you. Well, yeah, I feel like um, we brought out the best in some people, and we brought out the worst in a lot of people about this issue of the armored car and do you keep money 175,000 and then people now we got people 
just getting mad at each other. Like people justifying because it's federally insured, but no, it's not federally insured. Take a text, 97136. Tell that condescending a-hole that just called that he's a fool. You're going to act like a prick. At least expand on the FDIC insurance details and pretend to know what you're talking about. I don't, I don't want to play this game anymore. It's very ugly. Uh, take a text. Even federal insurance is us paying the bills. FDIC is nothing but taxpayer money, weasels. Take another return. Uh, a ticket text here at 97136. <laughs> it's envelope bogey, not envelope. You probably say milk instead of milk. Too. Oh. Is that, I, well, first of all, I say milk, although I don't drink milk, but you drink almond milk. I, well, yeah, I guess, but I don't call it I don't call it almond milk. I call it almond milk. When your clothes get dirty and you put them in the machine, what are you doing to them? You're washing them. You're not washing them. Washing. No, I don't. I don't talk like that. Is it, do you, how do you say envelope? I say, I'm, I'm, I, I think I say envelope. Yeah, what's wrong with that? Well, it is an E, not an A. Or so an what? An envelope? Envelope kind of sounds stupid. But I think it's probably correct, but sometimes the stupid things are the correct thing. Maybe. Uh, ticket text 97136. Went to cash my $750 paycheck at a liquor store. Guy at the register thought it said $1,750. Gave me... A thousand extra in cash. I couldn't get out of the store fast enough. See, now that's bad. Well, how is that any different? And that's really bad, though, because that guy, that, that person that, that works at the register probably got fired over that. Like, they probably think that they, that person stole a thousand dollars. Well, think about this. That's not right, because I was chatting out there in the bullpen with some people. Okay. Well, as far as getting fired, that's what we do in the bullpen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, any chance that it was an inside job. The armored truck. Like how? Did, I can't get past how a door just flies open in today's technology. So like, you think they shouldn't even be able to turn on the armored truck unless all the sensors are like have it locked. Yeah. Right? So you're saying maybe you think that the driver, like, told some of his friends like, hey, or I'm gonna be I'm gonna be on Route 32 at about three in the afternoon on Thursday. Follow me out there because no. I'm going to empty the truck no. and you can all follow. No, this is, I, I'm scared of myself as much cash no, 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 as you no. can. Nope. I'm okay. scared myself because I'm thinking like a criminal. <laughs> what you do is, we're all criminals to no, a certain extent. You steal 50000 or so before it even happens. You stash that away. Then when it flies open and it, you say, oh, 175000 flew when actually only 125000 flew out because you already stashed 50 and there's no way they can tell. How does that work, though? Wow. There, there has to be a system for those drivers, right? I, I missed my calling. I should be a criminal mastermind. Shouldn't I? Wow. Just, just to continue with the Breaking Bad references I'm going to make today, you'd be a regular Walter White out I there. would be. Uh, Dennis the Painter, the millennial gangster, strikes again. No gun or pinstripe suit. Skinny jeans and almond milk. Yikes. Because uh, you uh, stole avocados. I didn't mean to. It was just one extra. And I do feel bad. Uh, oh, okay. Here's a ticket text 97136. You have envelope right. Say encore or enclave. Yeah, that's and it's saying E. Oh, yeah, right. yeah. That's saying encore. envelope. Oh, it's a great encore. Oh, that's true. Encore, encore. <laughs> I don't know what I say. I think I say envelope. I don't know what I say now. You got me questioning myself. Envelope, envelope. Like when you make a phone call and you want to um, um, have some companionship for the night, you call yeah. an escort service, not an yeah. escort service, right? Yeah, that's true. You could call an Oscar. Either way, I mean, it's the same thing. Yeah. Uh, either way, you're probably going to have a good night. Uh, th th hopefully, there's an encore at the end of it. The encore with the escort. Stop it! There's never been a truer ticket text oh, ever man. delivered to 97 won the ticket than this one. And I'm about to read. Unassailable, and it's true. Okay. Ready? He wrote, Bogey, 
you won't do well in prison. Who says I'm going to prison? Yeah. I asked for seltzer water, <laughs> not this cruel. You know I can't eat those mashed potatoes. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Excuse me, is this porridge vegan? What is this? Is that beef? Can you imagine? You in prison? Or me in prison? No. Hey, hey, Giuseppe. Yeah. Can you can you hook me up with a TNT? Oh no, oh, I, I gotta have it. Most people would be running cigarettes or whatever that I'd be running. Yeah. Giuseppe, what can it be more? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what was it just said? What is it Isn't it Italian? I, I think so. <laughs> no idea why that was the first thing that came to mind. Because he's the godfather of the prison. Look, those people are all the same. Oh, oh my it's fine. God. Unbelievable. <laughs> Giuseppe, uh, David, Guillermo, Jimmy, any of those names, right? Come on. Kyle. You're the one that made it weird, okay? No, no, I thought it would when, when you said Giuseppe. I'm like, uh -uh. I just thought the name was hilarious. Giuseppe. <laughs> well, I don't even know what that's from. It's Italian. It's oh, yeah, no, it definitely is. But like, where is it? Like Pinocchio guy, right? the guy that made Pin Pinocchio. Oh, it very well could be. Yeah. yeah. Um. By the way, this is he wouldn't do well. This is true. 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 Text nine seven one three six. Wojo with a laugh like that, you should definitely be a criminal mastermind. That would I should be in the uh, Batman movies or whatever, right? Be like the Joker. <laughs> be like the Falker, Fat Joker. Uh, <laughs> could you imagine putting on that little leotard that he yeah. wears? <laughs> uh, there aren't supposed to be bulges there. Uh, I can see <laughs> everything. Uh, oh my god, here's something you can steal from. We got criminals helping criminals now. In the self-checkout, I always get organic vegetables and fruit, but I put it in as regular, so I'm paying for regular and not organic. See, I... No, I no, I actually feel like I actually gave somebody an unnecessary yeah. criminal edge there. I couldn't... Per I personally, I couldn't do I will say though, that's where you draw your moral line. Organic if I, look, veggies. If I'm gonna buy organic, I'm gonna pay for it. Okay? If I'm getting organic, I can pay for You it. don't even want a receipt that says doesn't say organic. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. This says uh just grape tomatoes. No, no, no. They're organic grape tomatoes. Please, can I can you correct that? Let me see your receipt. Like I well, I can't do that. I would have to redo the entire order. I don't care. I need it on there. Well, sir, I have a pen. I can just write it in. Oh, fine. Whatever it takes. I need organic on them. I mean, I have cred. I have millennial cred. <laughs> if I get mugged in that parking lot and it doesn't say organic on that receipt, I'll never be able to live with myself. You don't have street cred. You have, like, cul-de-sac cred. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> I kind of like that cul-de-sac cred. That's not bad. Right? Yeah. Instead of street cred. Yeah, I like that. I think that's true. I'd love to live in a cul-de-sac. 248-539-9797. I hope I don't have a cul-de-sac on my head moving forward. That's the one thing I hope to avoid. We'll say. We'll see. Wait, what is that? When you bald. You know, when the cul-de-sac oh, forms. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Yeah, we don't want right. that. Sully okay. is on his way. Yeah. Uh, By the time you've done golfing for five straight days, you know, you won't recognize it. Yeah. It'll be a red cul-de-sac. Uh, all right. We'll get to Al Avila coming up. <laughs> Finally. 97.5. <laughs> report brought to you by Chemical Bank. The roads are accident-free as a crash has been cleared. 94 eastbound at 10 Mile Road. There's still some residual backups out there. 75 both directions. You're going to find traffic very heavy and slow approaching M59. Also, out on 696 westbound from Orchard Lake Road, connecting to westbound 96 out to Wixom Road. Chemical Bank understands that numbers matter. With over 100 years of service, whether you need greater lending power or more efficient banking solutions, let their commercial relationship bankers sum it up for you. Learn more at ChemicalBank.com. Chemical Bank, a better banking formula. I'm Michelle Penny on the WWJ 24 hour traffic center. Grabbing a cold case of Miller Lite from the cooler is the easiest decision you'll make all day. It's the light beer that's brewed for more taste. 
with only 96 calories and 3.2 carbs. What are you holding? Miller Lite. Hold true. Great beer, great responsibility. 2018 Miller Brook Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Average analysis, 12 fluid ounces, less than 1 gram protein, and 0 grams fat. Do you live with a 10? And by 10, I mean a First Alert 10-year sealed battery smoke and carbon monoxide alarm. First Alert's 10-year sealed battery smoke and seal alarms provide trusted, reliable protection that lasts for a decade without the hassle of battery replacements and late-night battery chirps. Remember, alarms don't last forever and need to be replaced. Upgrade your home to a 10. First Alert 10-year sealed battery alarms. To learn more, visit firstalert.com slash 10-year or a Lowe's store today. Does your dog itch, scratch, stink, or shed like crazy? Come to Dynavite for help. Order a 90-day supply of Dynavite. Dynavite is nutrition. Pick up two bottles of liquor chops. Get the third bottle free. New improved liquor chops with omega-3, omega-6, vitamin E. And now, six extra direct-fed microbials. Even better for the digestive tract and immune system. Try liquor chops. Buy two, get one free. At Dynavite.com. D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E.com. Kelly Ellis, Van Dyke Dodge and Ward is selling new 2018 Dodge Challengers and Chargers at used car prices. Huge savings up to one third off as we clear out our year-old models. Kelly Ellis, Van Dyke Dodge does the deals the other dealers won't. This hour of instant feedback brought to you by Mike Papura of National Benefit Plan. For affordable life insurance, log on to NBTHealth.com. Last year, 97 won the Ticket Student Heart Check Program, detected over 150 student athletes who needed a follow up with a cardiologist to ensure they have a healthy heart. Make time to have your child checked. Contact the Ernst Cardiovascular Center at Beaumont Hospital in Royal Oak. WXYT FM and WXYT HD1 Detroit. A radio.com sports station. Sports headlines. All day, every day. This is. 97-1, the ticket. Much my middle landscape at the take the last four days off for the All-Star break. The Tigers are back to work tonight. They're opening up a seven-game road swing. We'll start with a three-game weekend series against the Royals. Detroit entering play after finishing the first half of the year with the third worst record in baseball, 28 and 57. You can hear the game right here on the ticket starting at 8-15. The championship game is set out at Wimbledon. Novak Djokovic will meet up with Roger Federer on Sunday. That's after Federer was able to put away Rafael Nadal with this match point.
refuse to promote that. And by the way, Pinocchio's father is Geppetto, not Giuseppe. That's what it is, Geppetto. Still have no idea where not, I got Giuseppe from. Not Bogey's cellmate, Giuseppe. Yeah, um, right. So, I would have some hardened criminal with me in a cell. Be like, uh, wait, hardened, by the way. Right. I want to be clear, hardened. A, a, right, and the hardened criminal would ask to be moved to a different cell. He won't stop talking about organic vegetables. My God. He bitches with his almond milk spells. Smells. Spells. Whatever. All right, so uh, we have that, but let, let's get to uh, what we promised. Um, Ella Vila and the Tigers as the trade deadline nears yes. July 31st. Now, here's one cautionary tale I will say to Big Al. Don't big. jump too soon. Hold on. You can't. It's, it's Big Al. Oh, okay. it's Big Al Avila. I think it's Al Avila's a little guy. No, that's true. It's got to be little Al, right? Okay. Not right, in a condescending way. Just yeah, not in a condescending way. Okay, yeah. Now, I, I did write a column today in the Detroit News, and I it was weird because I didn't think I was, like, blasting away on Al Avila. I, I was just, as many people are, like, dude, uh, you know, it's now four years in, and no, you're not responsible for all this. You were ordered to tear it down, but you've got to win some of these trades now. In, in whether it's bad luck or bad deals, you know, injuries. injuries, whatever, he hasn't won many trades at all. The one that he did win, I think, pretty clearly, was when he sent his son Alex Avila and Justin Wilson to the Cubs and got Jamer Candelario and Isaac Paredes, who's one of their best positional player prospects in the minor leagues. I would agree with this. So, but all the other ones that you go through, some of the free agent signings, Jordan Zimmerman, uh, Mark Lowe. I'm not going to hold. Free. I'm not going to hold Zimmerman and Justin Upton against him. Is that no, fair? No, no, no. Signing Justin Upton was, was fine, although he didn't get anything for him when he traded him. And That's I understand. Point. Yeah. I, literally, didn't the guy they traded for, isn't he out of baseball now? That picture from the Angels, Grayson Long or Gray Long, something like that, whatever. I don't remember. So, Grayson Allen, maybe? No, no. He's no. the guy that um, kicks everybody. Oh, right, right, right. But let me ask you this. Okay. Because I wrote, again, I wrote this column in... in I don't know, maybe a little, yeah, critical, but certainly, like, you know, you got Matthew Boyd, Shane Green, and Nick Castellanos, and maybe a shop, Joe Jimenez, or whatever, but it's not going to be an easy trademark. There are five teams on pace to lose 100 games, all right? <laughs> Tiger's one of them. So there's lots of teams that are looking to pedal stuff, and but there are contenders, too. You've got to play this wisely and I'm not breaking new ground by saying that of course he has to but with JD Martinez I thought he leaped too soon when he traded him on July 18th that year and didn't get much Verlander trade looked good he held on until the very end of August but as it turned out Franklin Perez has been injured Daz Cameron hasn't been great so I wrote this and I got some email responses and I was surprised people saying dude well, what are you ripping on Avila for? What would you what would you have done differently? What's he supposed to do? And I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. First of all, I didn't think I was shredding him or anything. I like Al Avila, and I do think he's a good baseball man. Yeah. I don't know if he has pro no, I know he hasn't yet proven if he has the negotiating chops to pull off some we always felt like Dombrowski was ripping off other teams, right? Yes. And it seemed like he was. Mm -hmm. We haven't felt that about Navelia. Different way when you're trading for prospects as opposed to trading away prospects. But I don't think you can fully judge him. Not fully yet. But you can certainly begin to wonder. And what surprised me, and tell me if you agree, I'll actually call him up and read him if you want. Several t uh, texts or emails, I guess they called them back in the day, that were like, what, telegrams? What would you have done differently? Tell me what you would have done differently. And and the one I would have done is I would not have traded J.D. Martinez that quickly, two weeks before the deadline. Okay. Even though he said he was getting no, well, yeah, not getting many calls. I agree early. with that. Yeah. I, I think that was a mistake. But to be honest, I, I get the point. I mean, that's why I, don't, I didn't think, didn't want to be perceived as shredding him because... I don't see that. You can be weary. You can think he's not going to be able to pull it off. You can think he's not going to succeed. But you can also say, what has he had to work with? 
I mean, well, no, no. When he traded, when he traded Verlander, he got by the prospects' rankings the appropriate amount of return. Same, Same. thing with um, uh, Justin Wills, not with JD Martinez. Yeah. Um, that's why I think it's so key because Matthew Boyd, three years of team control left. Teams need starting pitchers. Uh, we have a story on the 97 Win the Ticket website that uh, it's heating up. Lots of teams are interested in Matthew Boyd. He's got to rip somebody off, right? He's got to rip off another G. Shane Green, same thing. Same if they thing. could potentially do that. And look, the phone number is 248 539 9797. I guess, do you agree with you know some of the, the, the emailers that Wojo got from his column that, you know, maybe we don't really know what's going on with Alavila? Is it possible? For us to really get mad this early on in that's the replay, I, I, that's what I wonder. That is, and, and, and I, I was surprised that some people said uh, they're being fair. And, and we were talking about Avila. this, and and I think Hatchet came up with the line, or maybe it was you. Maybe it was a good line. So it was probably Hatchet. Um, <laughs> that's a good point. Like uh, Tiger fans, maybe it was Giuseppe. Yeah, Tiger fans don't want to hear all the because. They are trusting the process in baseball because they've been told it's coming, mm -hmm. the rebuild, it's coming, that's how it works, it's coming, it's coming. So they trust the process, but I'm not sure yet they trust Avila. That is a great line. That was Hatchet. Yeah, yeah definitely yeah, was. Yeah. yeah. Um, but you can certainly, certainly, he can certainly uh, erase some of the skepticism if he pulls these deals off or... Hang on to Matthew Boyd if they don't, if, into the offseason. You don't have to. you got three years of team control left. Don't give him away. You couldn't really hang on to J.D. Martinez because he was gone after that. Well, that's the thing. You're not giving Matthew Boyd away. If you're giving, if you're trading Boyd this summer, it's because you think you're maximizing, you know, the return that you can get. Like, you're getting premier prospects that you think can really develop and help this organization moving forward. So, I think that's one. I, two... And, Lo, do you know this is better or, or as well as anyone in baseball? It takes so effing long for guys to develop. Like, Matthew Boyd and Daniel Norris were traded from the Blue Jays in, what, 20, it was 2014, 2015, five, wasn't it? Four or five years ago, yeah. And they are just now establishing themselves oh. as major league players. Norris less so, of course, than Boyd. Boyd having a much better year. It takes time to not only get to the majors, to learn how to perform at okay, the major league so let me ask you this. So let me ask the people out there. 248-539-9797. Ticket text 97136. How do we judge Al Avila right now? I mean, he's been here a long time, even before when Dabrowski was here, but yeah. has been the GM for four years. I don't even think we can judge him on the positive things. The improved farm system, because when you're drafting number one or number four or five, you're going to automatically, when you're no trading brainers. Justin Verlander, yes. you're automatically going to improve the farm system. So I'm being fair here, where you can't judge him for bad deals per se, because there were injuries. You can't judge him for the good stuff necessarily either, because it's kind of, you can't. You can jimmy, you can rig it so your farm system is automatically better, trading mm -hmm. veterans for young guys, yeah. immediately better. So, do is there, what would you have done to answer the emailer's question? And, and it was a lady that sent it to me, and there was another, uh, two or three others, but she was really mean to me. Very mean. Oh, you think you could, why do you hate Alavilla? You think you can be the GM? What would you do differently? So I'm asking you that. What? Should he have done different? The phone number have done different. Two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety seven. Ticket text is at nine seven one three six. And I would even add too. Again, can, can you trust Alavila at this point? Is that something that Tigers fans are capable of? And I look. I don't want to sit here and act like I'm, uh, you know, letting Alavila and the Tigers off the hook here. You know, be patient. But in baseball, unlike any other sport, you don't know what your return is going to be for several years and this early into it with guys at the minor league level down there trying to figure things out and waiting to get to the major league level it's going to be even more you know several other years before we really know what these guys are now the only thing that i would say is the prospects that he has gotten not dominating at the minor league level you know what i mean so, as you said it take neither was matthew boyd understandable first. yes it takes time and the funny thing is, you know, when, when David Price got dealt, Daniel Norris and Matthew Boyd got, got sent here, 
it, Boyd was actually like the, the worst of the three. Like they got Same Floyd, you know, for Cespedes, and then they got, uh, you know, Norris and Boyd, and Boyd was like this afterthought, you know, Norris was the hot arm, and here we are, you know, Boyd is the one that's hitting, as opposed to, you know, Norris, who's a little bit further behind. How, mu how, much, how much are bad deals, and how much is bad luck? Every vet, he... To his credit, because you kind of try to feel the team, yeah. he went and got some cheap veterans this offseason to have what he thought would be like a representative. They've all either been injured or terrible. Yeah. Every single one of them. Yeah, Tyson uh, Ross, um, uh, Josh Harrison, Jordy Mercer, yep. Martin Beckham, and Matt Moore. They're all now. That's partly his fault for getting guys, you know, that are broken down, but he didn't pay much money. But you know what the idea was? They were going to be good enough to be used as trade chips right now. Mm -hmm. You can. You got they're not trade chips at all. 248-539-9797. Ticket text is at 97136. What would you have done differently if you were Al Avila? And at this point, can you trust him? As we near the, the trade deadline coming up July 31st, Tigers, of course, have a couple of you know players that they should be able to get a return on we'll see what alavila can do 971 when the irs tells you you owe money they mean business they'll harass you until they get what they want if you're part of the growing number of americans you got trouble paying your taxes or getting out of your irs debt you need to call abraham and rose the tax lawyer jerry and Maurice, local guys been in business for years Jerry used to work for the IRS. He knows it inside and out. We're going to work with you on a plan, keep you out of trouble, get the IRS off your back. And even if you're self-employed, you got trouble paying your employee taxes, get with Abraham and Rose now. Create a plan and keep the IRS away. CPAs are lovely, can't help you. You need tax lawyers, you need IRS experts, you need Abraham and Rose. Don't take on the IRS law. Use the experts in tax law. Call them today. 248-539-5040. That's 248-539-5040. 539-5040 or simply go online to abrahamandrose.com Tonight, 8 till 10, 97 won the ticket street. 
team will be at Rosie O'Grady's on 23 Mile in Chesterfield. You can win tickets and Miller Lite Pitchers Pub passes to see the Detroit Tigers play the Kansas City Royals Saturday, August 10th. Get more at 971theticket.com. Got something to say? Text 971theticket now at 97136. Ticket text brought to you by La Fontaine Kia of Dearborn. Home of the Family Deal. Find over 5,000 new and pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs daily at FamilyDeal.com. You've got a question? We've got an opinion. Okay, so the ticket texters are reminding me of the one big uh, oopsie that Al Avila has that, that I would have absolutely done and I actually advocated for doing on this very radio station. And that was trading Michael Fulmer when he was red hot a couple of seasons ago. You knew he had previous elbow issues. Pitchers can be a dime a dozen. You never know what can happen to a pitcher in their arm. And Al or excuse me, Michael Fulmer since that time has now had Tommy John surgery, had you know elbow inflammation. You could have gotten a massive fall. That was the same year they traded Verlander, right? Yes. 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 I, I would have traded Michael Fulmer by that deadline as well. That that's the big thing you wait until the pen line and wait until somebody gets right. really desperate to get more yeah and a lot of ticket texters really hated the jd martinez trade at the time as we all did or a lot of us did i think the other thing you could have is even though they like they had to take casey mine number one overall even if they wanted a position player okay yes. but the misfortune that comes with relying with having so many pitching prospects is it is very delicate. I mean, that's why you need yeah. some money. Because, you know, Casey Mize has had a little inflammation, and Franklin Perez, and Paul Burroughs, and Fulmer's out for the year. You could argue that somewhere along the line, you know, they should have taken a chance. And they did with Riley Green, who was only 18 years old, a position player, because they are bereft of offensive weapons anywhere. Anywhere. Now, again, this is where it's confusing. Is that Avila's fault, or is that circumstance? What was he supposed to do different? Not draft uh, Casey, Ma not draft Matt Manning, not what, uh, gotten more, but he did get a uh, position player in the Justin Wilson trade, Isaac Paredes, so, I again, that's why I'm in a quandary. I My suspicion is Avila hasn't done a good enough job, obviously, even though I suspected they would lose 100 games, but when you break it down point by point, there's a couple of deals that he really screwed up. Mm -hmm. But even the free agent deals, what, okay, it was stupid to sign Jordy Mercer and Josh Harris in a rest, retrospect. Cost you one year, they're gone. Okay. Yeah, plus, honestly, I mean, you don't hope for injuries, but if the Tigers end up with the number one overall pick, part of the reason you get that is because your veteran players got injured, okay, right? fair enough. I mean, at the end of the day, that's what it's all about, and I'd much rather get the number one pick than win 68 or 70 games and, you know, be picking 10th overall. But the phone number is 248 539 9797. Ticket text is at 97136. What would you have done differently if you were in Al Avila's shoes? And I go back to, again, before we get to the phones, people want that instant gratification. You know, like my generation, you know, we're all about, like, I need to immediately see the results. You know, things are changing constantly. In baseball, just not how it works. I mean, guys, normally, look at Christian Young, okay? He, he spent six years in the minor leagues. Oh, right. When, yes. when in reality, a lot of people didn't even know who the hell he was. And he's performing better than Bryce Harper, who just got a $400 million deal from the Phillies. Absolutely. It's a, it is a crapshoot. Um, not that I'm trying to let Avila off the hook. No, and that's 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 where it's it's a tricky thing right now. And that's why he's really got to hit it at this trade deadline or don't get fleeced. Uh, ticket text 97136. You can absolutely hold Avila responsible. His free agent signings have pretty much all been complete garbage. The JV trade at this point looks like we got fleeced also. Next one, my dog Avila. They have four Cy Young winners and three MVPs on the roster for 10 years and won nothing. What's worse than that? Joe from Chesterfield. But that, of course, was when they had an owner going whole hog to win and spend, and it doesn't make sense, although at some point, Chris Illich will have to spend. Yeah, and I would also say to the free agent signings, you're just trying to get stop gaps. You're just trying to get a guy that wants no, to dump no. himself for a season, so I don't even know that I really care or pay attention to the free agent signings, because 
everyone knows that the Tigers aren't trying to win, so why would why would anyone really want to sign here that you know is going to sign for a no, couple no, of years? No, I said that You're, he took a bunch home. of chances on broken down pitchers. One season or a half a season, and you're hoping that they do well, and then you can move them like they did with Mike Fires. That's it. That's the only one you know? that really paid off for them. Sure. Five three nine ninety seven ninety seven. Ticket taxes at nine seven one three six. Uh, let's go to Jay in St. Clair. You're on 97 on the ticket. Hey, Jay. What's going on, guys? Hey. Hello, Big Jay. So, you know, looking at a view, I think there's three big things that are just kind of head scratchers, and you got to wonder how much influence Chris Illich made in these decisions. And it all starts in 2016. They came off that mini rebuild where they shipped off, you know, Price and some others. Uh, but uh, they said, oh, we're going to go for it. We're going to go for it all again. And they traded Cameron Maybin away for for nothing and entered the season without a center fielder. Uh, that just makes no sense to me. And then uh, the Berlander trade, I don't know how Vila was willing to not only retain salary on his mega deal, but not allow the Astros to include either uh, Forrest Whitley or Kyle Tucker, um, two of their best prospects, and one of probably the greatest pitcher in Detroit sports over the last 20 years. Jay, did, well, no, I, and uh, I'll let you finish your point, but in response to that, because I've thought about that too, and I thought, but remember, Verlander had just won the 